11, I'm Jamie Costello. Tomorrow marks a week since the level of the downtown garage collapsed. Luckily, nobody was hurt, but the cars are still trapped inside among all the concrete, and the drivers say they're, gonna get, they're getting nowhere. WMAR 2 News, Dave Dentling is live for us in South Charles Street with a follow-up. This a week later, and we can't get them out yet? Yeah, Jamie, like put yourself in their shoes. What do you do when your car is trapped inside a partially collapsed and condemned parking garage? That is the case for dozens of drivers. I spoke to one guy who says he's tried to get in touch with Banning Street Capital, but has had no luck, and he says he wants answers. There's a fence up for safety, but Scott McConnell sees the chain link as another sign. They got it boarded up tight, so it more or less says Oh, they're not going to do anything for a while. Friday will be a week since the second floor of this parking garage partially collapsed. So I watched it come down. It came down real quick. Scott is doing this follow-up Zoom interview with his phone. His car is stuck. The computer I normally would have used is in the car, which is in the garage, which I can't get to. <laughs> the question remains, how long before folks can access the 50 cars stuck inside 1 East Pratt Street, which is owned by Banyan Street Capital? There's no contact. You can't get them on the phone, uh, try to email them. No, there's no reply. WMAR 2 News reached out to corporate for a status update. A representative saying in part, several engineering firms have visited the site to assess the situation and will provide a path forward. As for the cars, they'll be removed once engineers provide a plan. We asked Banyan about rental cars and reimbursement for the folks impacted. We got no response. It was the same when we asked for a timeline. That lack of communication is what's adding to Scott's frustration. Kind of left it in the lurch. I mean, they should at least reach out and say, hey, you know, how can we help? And I think it would be good PR for them anyway for the company to help them grow. Say, hey, we took care of these people. So. Do you feel like you're being taken care of? No. <laughs> And you've got personal property still in these vehicles. Some people saying they've had to rent cars, hitch rides with others, do ride share, even look into, again, a rental car. But that is tough, especially when you're talking about today's economy. Now, as for the building and the structure itself, city records show it was last inspected in 2017. Reporting live tonight, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.